What's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at it again with another Giants video. Um, two things, well actually one thing, but I just want to address one thing at the beginning of the video. Um, today I'm going to talk about, you know, the Giants, they released their basically 2021 opponents. Uh, a lot of us already had a basic idea of who they would be, kind of working out the divisions that we'll be playing. And you know, that we released the home and away opponents today and I'm going to take a look at it kind of give you guys my thoughts on it but first off damn <laughs> that reaction video that i put out last night which was a clip from the just chilling podcast calling the washington eagles game uh blew up in terms of blowing up for my channel you know what i'm saying it's the best video in terms of performance that i've had in like the past two three months it already has near seven thousand views it's uh, i appreciate all you guys for your support on that even the washington football team Philadelphia Eagles and Dallas Cowboys fans on there that I uh, had a few things to say to me. I just gotta say, Jesus, <laughs> yo, those fans are stressed, bro. Like I, I was a little bit, I was a little bit feeling some type of way after that game, and it shows in that reaction vid. But I got over myself like an hour after the game. I was like, hey, I got back into the mentality that I was before that game, which is it's a win-win situation. Eagles win this game, it's a win situation for us. We're in the playoffs. Eagles lose this game, it's a win situation for us. We're picking 11th overall. We filling in one of the biggest holes in our team. That's wide receiver, one of those top three wide receivers out there. Or we get, you know, one of the top cornerbacks out there to fill in that cornerback hole. It's a win-win situation. I got over it quickly. But yo, <laughs> yo, these fans are pressed, bro. Washington football, you know what? I, this is why I respect Washington football team fans so much, bro. They be, they were mad respectful in the comments. I As usual, I got no problem with Wash, the Washington football team and their fans. They're the team that, like, I feel like the Giants and Washington rivalry, it ain't as heated and disrespectful as the Eagles or Cowboys rivalry. Because, you know, there's a, there's a level of respect there. And even the ones that, dis, that did disagree with the way I reacted, they, they were just chill about it. But you could count on Cowboys and Eagles fans to be butthurt about anything, bro. My God, you read those comments? They are more pressed than I was, or more pressed than OGR Kid Blue was. Y'all need to get, y'all need to get over yourselves. Jesus, you reading this like God? My God, <laughs> yo, it makes me laugh. I'm reading this. I'm like, hey, I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jeff yo. They they really press like I insulted their team or something, bro. They really press like I came at their neck. It, it, anyway, I just had to say that. And and the fact of the matter is, like 90% of them that watch that video ain't even gonna watch this video because they're not viewers of the channel. They're viewers of that particular reaction video, which makes it even more funny to me. But I just want to get that out of the way. <laughs> and now let's look at this, the Giants opponents for 2021, man. I just found that a little bit funny. I was like, wow, I did not expect, you know, this type of response there. It, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm like I said, was a win-win situation. I'm already past that. And I feel like a lot of Giants fans should be past that as well. We um the Eagles lost, Washington football team is in the playoffs. I guess what? We're picking 11th overall. This is gonna be a good offseason for us. Let's get moving, man. Let's you know keep it pushing. So for the home opponents for the Giants in 2021, we got basically the NFC South half of that, half of the NFC West. Uh, I mean AFC West and NFC West opponent and of course a divisional guy so we got the Falcons Panthers Raiders Broncos Rams Cowboys Eagles Washington this in terms of a home opponent schedule I think it's pretty winnable I think it's pretty winnable I mean we went four and two in the division this year with a strong chance of going six and oh uh, I'm not saying we're gonna go six and oh next year but I think we could go four and two once again in the division next year i really do think um we match up well with washington but washington is a team that is also steadily improving just like the giants are 
I think our days of sweeping Washington are coming to an end. It, it might be coming to an end, but you know what I'm saying? I think we could get a win against Washington. I think we could get a win against the Eagles and against the Cowboys. I mean, we beat all three of these teams at home this year. So I think it's not out of the question to get wins of those against those guys. The Falcons and the Panthers, too early to say right now, but those are definitely 100% winnable games. I mean, this year, those teams weren't too particularly good. I mean, that's not saying much. The Giants were not that much better in terms of record anyway than those two. But the Falcons and Panthers are kind of in a weird state right now. Those are very winnable games. Uh, the Broncos is a winnable game. Raiders and Rams, definitely not so winnable. Like the Rams, they might definitely get a W over us. We played them hard this year. Um, I'm not sure if that was just a matchup thing, if the Rams were just, you know, kind of weird in week four type of thing. But we played them really hard. We played them really close. I think we could do that again next year. Once again, of course, it's so early that a lot of these matchups are too early to call just because the offseason hasn't even officially began yet. But sitting right here right now, we played the Rams well. I think we could play them well again. Um, and the Raiders with John Gruden, I liked what they did this year. Uh, you know, even before the season started, I told people keep your eyes out for the Raiders. They might be, you know, some type of surprise team. They might be performing better than you expect. And that's because a lot of people were not sure what the Raiders were doing in their rebuild and whatnot. And I think they're doing a nice job over there. They're going to be a good team. Uh, not as winnable as the other five that I talked about. And then in terms of the away schedule, definitely the harder of the two opponent lists. You got the Kansas City Chiefs, Los Angeles Chargers, Tampa Bay Bucks, uh, New Orleans Saints, Chicago Bears, and then Cowboys, Eagles, Washington. Once again, for the divisional guys, Cowboys, Eagles, Washington, all three of those are winnable. I'm not saying that we're going to you know, sweep all three. Definitely not. But all three are definitely winnable games. 100%. Uh, for the Eagles, I mean, man, they're 70 million cap. I'm really, and the Saints are also another team that's in negative cap space. I think the Saints are either around 70 mil or greater than 70 mil in cap space. Or was that another team? Whatever the case is, I want to see how these two teams, and there's actually 10 teams in the NFL right now in negative cap space. I want to see how they handle it because what's the protocol for that? Do you just cut a bunch of players? There's going to have to be a way for you to offload these contracts. And that means that they're going to lose a lot, a lot of depth. You know, a lot of players, obviously. It's going to be very interesting to see how they handle it. Um, the Eagles are definitely going to take a hit next year. The Saints, I'm wondering as well, does that mean that that goes from a very hard game to a winnable one? Because Drew Brees is retiring. Then they got to free up the cap, so they're going to lose a lot of depth. Are the Saints a beatable team next year? I don't know, but it's going to be something to look at. Of course, the Bucks they could look completely different from what they do right now. I mean, who knows what happens you know, in like a 10 months period of time. Like, is Brady still there this coming September? Does Brady retire? Does he go to another team? Who knows? You know, is Antonio Brown still there? You know, is Gronk still there? The coaching staff, how, how much is it different? But we played the Bucks hard this year. And just like what I said with the Rams, it was a winnable game this year. Who's to say it's not winnable next year? Chiefs, I ain't even going to front. Not even going to try and say that's a winnable. Chiefs might straight up blow us out, man. The Chargers, they're going to be going, you know, a head coaching change. It's going to be interesting to see how Justin Herbert is week you know in year two i'm not gonna label that as anything yet other than interesting and same for the bears i don't expect them to come back with mr brisky next year but who knows but hey i don't know that's another interesting game might not be so winnable but i'm looking at this entire opponents list once again big disclaimer it's way too early to judge anything because the off season hasn't even officially began yet but looking at this opponents list i'll tell you this it's easier than what we had in 2020 and that's a lot to say because we played eight playoff teams in 2020 with, you know, the COVID, with no offseason and whatnot. This is a very, this is a favorable schedule. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. It's a favorable schedule. Uh, maybe you know, I could see anywhere from eight and eight to ten and six with this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I could really see that. And when I looked at the 2020 opponents list last year, uh, don't quote me here because I don't have photographic memory. I can't remember what I said. But I do remember saying this was probably one of the hardest opponents lists of the NFL, of the entire NFL. Looking at this right now, this is definitely a middle of the pack opponents list. And that's kind of weird because uh, we finished second in the NFC East. So we are playing a second place schedule. You would expect it to be harder, but I'm not complaining about the fact that what I'm seeing here looks to be an easier opponents list. Oh, something real quick to add. I literally just saw this on Twitter. Shout out to Karam Bite on Twitter. Kind of remind me of this. It's not confirmed yet whether or not the NFL is going to go with 17 games per team 
you know in this upcoming regular season is something that's been in discussion for a couple of years now so obviously with this opponents list as of right now they're still moving along with 16 but if there is going to be 17 games which you know I, I think they might rule in favor of that i'm not necessarily in belief of that because that means half of the nfl teams are going to be at a disadvantage because there's going to be what um there's going to be nine road games and eight home games for 16 teams and then nine home games and eight road games for the other 16. uh it is what it is if there is 17 games though i'd be very interested to see who you guys think would be the 17th opponent for the giants now that's it for now i'm out thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i'll catch y'all in the next one